Hi guys, so as you can see I have finished one side of my face so I'm now going to jump on to the next and before anybody asks I did cut down all my nails just to film all the Halloween tutorials because it's so much easier <laughs> to do Halloween tutorials and picking up all the wee niggly things without nails. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a purple eyeshadow, any purple eyeshadow will do and I'm just going to fill in the eye socket and I'm just fixed or fixed. I just spritzed my face with some Fix Plus because as you can see the purple eyeshadow did go on very patchy. You will find this with most purple eyeshadows, they're an absolute disaster. So as you can see it's going on more pigmented. So I'm just going to go around and fill up them gaps. So I'm just taking some Fix Gel and I'm just placing this on my eyelids and I'm taking it right up above my crease also so the glitter is quite gradual. So then I'm just placing the glitter um, just where I put down that Fix Gel and I'm using an Urban Decay Pack and Brush for that. So once I have the glue or the glitter all fixed down, I'm just going to go after, go in after and pat that all down just so I don't get any fallout. So then I'm going to go around the rim of the eye socket with eyelash glue and this is going to be where I'm going to be placing the sequences. And you just want to get, let that get a wee bit taggy before you go in. And I just got these wee sequences off eBay. So I then just went off camera and finished my eye and put false lashes on etc. So now onto the forehead, I'm just going to take um, some eyelash glue and just work row by row, just applying one strip of eyelash glue and then the studs, I got these three studs off eBay, they were quite heavy on the head, like my face was so heavy. <laughs> so this is probably the most time consuming part of the tutorial. So you want to just take your time and just make sure that they are actually placed straight because trust me, there is always a wonky one. Yep. So then I'm just taking a purple gel liner and I didn't have a clue what to do with my mouth because I didn't want to do like skull teeth so I just thought I would just do like random lines. So I'm just taking an eyeliner brush and I'm just doing different size of lines just through my lips. So then I'm going to be taking that purple shadow again and I'm just going to be running that through the lines that I created just so it isn't as done and like neat if you know what I mean. So then I'm going to go back with some eyelash glue and this is going to be the adhesive for the wee stars that I had placed. So now to map out the contours and the hollows of the face for the skull and this is the exact same purple gel eyeliner that I used for the lips. So as you can see what I'm doing here, whenever you're doing like the face skull, like the hollows of the cheeks, you kind of want to map out where you're going to be going because you want it to be exactly the same as the other side of the face. So then I'm just going to go in and do the shading. So, <laughs> funny story actually, I didn't realise, well I actually forgot that this gel eyeliner steals, steals, stains like a fucking bastard. <laughs> so whenever I had washed my face, it came out luminous pink and I thought I covered it up with concealer because I had to go to Tesco's that night. But no, I went to Tesco's with a skull on my face still, basically. I was affronted. So here I'm just taking any black liner or black eyeshadow, sorry, and I'm just filling in the gaps. So I'll be blending the black in with the purple. So I just continue to do the blending and the shading and that is us done. So 
So everyone, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you all on my next one.